I'm getting really close to having my environment the way I want for my virtual production scene, but I'm still missing some key things. For example, it'd be nice to have some roads, some vegetation, a little bit variation. Let's set up the, uh, the, tech, the materials so that we can paint some roads and some other things into our environment. Now to do this, we need to set up some landscaping layers. To make it easy, let's jump over to the content drawer and I'm going to right click, select material, and call this M underscore landscape material. Double click on it, and that will open up your graph for being able to set up the material. Right now, the material graph for our landscape material is only capable of accepting one thing, but we can easily change that. So we're going to right click and we're going to type landscape and you'll see pop up the landscape layer blend. Now the landscape layer blend is what allows us to add multiple things. If you want multiple layers to be able to choose from, just simply hit the plus sign and you can get multiple layers and you can see they're all being added here. And I think four sounds like a good place to stop. Since I'm using Kitbash 3D, the mission to Minerva, I've already got a lot of textures that I can use for this. So let's jump over here, right click, and let's call texture sample. There, popped right up, texture sample. Make sure you've got your texture sample selected. And then for our texture, let's go with concrete for this. I know that exists. There's concrete and we'll go with the base color texture and now and then we can go from RGB to the layer name and we can even rename the layer name by going into selecting the landscape layer blend we'll select the first item currently the layer name is none this is going to be concrete and there we go we could also now we're going to need this uh, one of these texture samples for each one of our landscapes. So if you want to take the shortcut, you can hold down the T on your keyboard and then just click some every some place that's blank on your graph. So there's one, two, three, four. There we go. So now we've got four in there, and we can easily create our layers from each of these into our blend. Now let's go ahead and I'm, I'm going to set my texture samples real quick. And we got a lawn and a more rugged texture for our terrain. And then our last one. And we'll add a final one that is soil. Now we can go in, as I said, to the layer landscape blend. And let's go through and rename these real quick so that we they're easy to identify so this is grass layer then we have our more of a rock layer so check back to our index and our final layer which is more of a dirt layer there we go and now all we need to do is drag from our landscape blend over to the base color. And now we can choose from any of these and apply them inside of our, our landscaping. Once you're happy with everything, hit the apply and save. So now we've got our landscape material ready to go. And I'm going to dock this up here real quick in case I want to refer back to it. Nice and easy. Let's jump back here to our environment. I had gone in and set my landscape material to this ground setting. However, if I want to be able to paint the landscape in the environment, I need to go in and set that to my new material that I just simply created, which will allow us to paint in the landscape mode. So to do that, we need to go through and select all of our different landscapes. That should have everything. Then we can go down to our landscape material and set it to the landscape material that we just created. So I'm going to type in landscape. There's the one I created. There we go. Don't be afraid if you start seeing your landscape changing to black. Uh, that's 
because we we haven't set the paint and and we got to let that process so this may take a few seconds since i've got a fairly large open world for this i went ahead and left the original texture that i was using on some of the mountains because i don't i'm lazy i don't want to paint those so instead we're, we're now ready to start painting our main area so let's jump over here to our landscape and as you can see we now have our layers showing up here just like we we need them to be the first step is to add a layer, create our layer information. We want to use weight blended layer normal and click on save. There we go. And back here, as you can see, it, it created some information in there. And we need to do that for each one of this. So I'm going to do the same for grass, weight blended. And as I said, do this for each layer. and our final one and I did change this back to gravel so that we can easily paint the gravel into the layer there we go and now we have all of them and we're ready to start painting our scene Yay! okay let's get to painting so the first thing I'm going to go back in and apply some of my gravel to the scene so I'm going to select that then we've once we go in there you can see there's my brush in there but we can up the size of that if we want make the painting go a little faster which is always nice your fall off you've got control over that and you can control the shape of how that's going to work so let's start painting in a little bit of gravel there you can see it is impacting the environment nice and quick so we've got that going in there and we're getting our gravel look back inside. I do want to go ahead and go get the concrete in because as I said, I'll, my main one of my main objectives was to get roads in there. So let's shrink the brush size down. And this is the concrete look. So let's draw that in, connecting these buildings together. That's going to try and be a fairly straight, but you know, we do what we can and then maybe there's a secondary that follows through over to here and then it tees over to there and over to here maybe there's a little bit of a parking lot there we can do the same over here and now I'm getting some roadway in there um, let's do a little path over to each of our housing residences and there we we've got that good I'm gonna go back here to selection select one of my my other areas here and if things aren't showing up right we can then easily go back to our landscape and add, yeah, our, my, my layers, for some reason those weren't selected right, and so I didn't get layers created correctly for that. Um, let's go there. Uh, we don't want to overwrite. Well, we can, we can. Because um, it does, it's exactly the same thing. So, or we can give it a, di a different name go and now you can see that that's going in there just fine I'm, I'm just going to do concrete and gravel for these areas wait blend it and to save and there we have that and then once we've got that selected we can jump back here make sure my road is selected select that and we can paint the concrete in just like that okay and that's how we can easily add a a texture and as you can we can get down here looks like my road did not go in correctly right here so let's add that in and there landscape and paint that in And it, the more you go over it, the darker that will get. 
And so there we've got some basic landscaping. Um, I, I do need to go through and select these other areas so that we can paint those in the way we want, or we can just simply go back to the gravel that we originally had, since I'm not really painting those. And that's some basic landscape painting. Of course, there's a lot more we can do with landscape painting, but this does get the basis of it. Oh, I'm not happy with that. I'm going to... Yeah, that's part of it. You, you get a little compulsive about it. Go to landscape. Go back here to my gravel. And up my brush size and paint that in. I'll have to come back in and add my road. There we go. And we can do all kinds of cool blending with that. There we go. That's how you can put in a simple road uh, for your environments. We can tweak this tons more, but that is the basis of doing some landscape painting. Make sure you like and subscribe for more tutorials on a variety of different things. I will be posting more frequently now that it's summer, and I will have all kinds of stuff on Unity, Unreal, and uh, now working on a series on Roblox.